it's very important in my opinion just you know not only for the tourist but also for the resource managers to see that that what they're doing here is actually making a difference I mean protecting these areas is preserving how they should look for the next generation The Exuma Keys Land and Sea Park is absolutely magical. Every shade of blue you can imagine. There's nothing that competes with blues in Exuma. There's no comparison to anywhere else. It's one of the most beautiful places on earth. Where time seems to slow down or almost stand still. But it's not without its challenges. The management of the Exuma Keys Land and Sea Park is quite unique compared to other places. The park is managed by the Bahamas National Trust, which is a non-profit, non-government membership organization. We currently run the park at a significant deficit, a couple hundred thousand dollar deficit. That deficit is going to grow unless we can increase our income from revenue sources. We're starting to see an increase in visitation and we need to ensure that we have the capacity to manage the increased use. The fees that they charge for you to overnight in these areas are nominal. These user fees aren't filtered through the government. They go directly into the upkeep and maintenance of the park. Uh, they're essential to us. They make up half of our revenue and without it, we wouldn't be able to run. The price that you have to pay for that is nothing. I feel like for what you are getting out of hooking up to mooring in the park. You should bring another 50 and put it in a donation box up here and keep this thing going the way that it's going. A lot of the fish that people are uh, catching locally in the Bahamas is food fish, not just Nassau grouper, but for snappers and other large grouper species are the ones we're seeing greater uh, abundances of in the park. The millions and millions that are born here swim out and they become fair game, uh, which is why protecting them in this space uh, where there's no fishing pressure is absolutely the right thing to do. We have a major issue with poaching conch populations in the Bahamas are in trouble and the primary source of that trouble would be overexploitation. They need to understand that once it's gone, it's gone. There's no, oh, you wait 10 years and they'll be back. The park does have real benefit to the Bahamas in terms of fishery production. Um, we know that, like for Nassau grouper, 
The park is a major contributor to spawning populations elsewhere in the Bahamas. We know that for conch and lobster also, that uh, breeding that takes place in the park is reseeding areas outside of it. So the park really is working in protecting some of these key species. This is a jewel of the world, and there are not many places like this left. And if we don't fight for it, then there's no hope.